everyone, it's Trish here from the Emerging Technology team, and I'm here to give parents an overview of Google Classroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking you inside what your children will see when they're inside the Google Classroom so you know where you can look for announcements, assignments, and materials. It's really important to note that the first step to being able to navigate to Google Classroom is to make sure that you are, first of all, your child is logged into Chrome. We have a previous video we shared for that. Once you're logged into Chrome, we're going to use the bookmarks bar and we're going to get to classroom.google.com. Now, Google Classroom is a student and teacher environment. Parents aren't actually invited to the classroom. The children are. But now as a parent, you can sit beside your child at home and have them be able to be logged in and show you what they're learning. So let me show you what that looks like. Once the student is logged into Chrome, you will see their login in the top right hand corner of the browser. What they can then use is their school.ecsd.net bookmarks and there they'll find how to navigate to Google Classroom. Or you can simply type in classroom.google.com. When you're here, you're going to see all of the classrooms that the student has been invited to. The student can go to the classroom and the first thing they're going to see is the stream. This is just an ongoing chronological list of any assignments or announcements that have been posted. You're also going to see any upcoming work and when it is due. The classwork tab is where all of the organization happens. Teachers can organize this according to date, subject area, or topic. You can see all of the topics on the left hand side. Each individual assignment will have the information and links. Students will also even be able to join conversations online with their teacher. If the students were to go to one of their assignments, they would be able to see the material that was posted for them. They'll be able to see all of the different things that they were given. So they can see here that there's a video, there's a handout, there's some resources, there's a conversation, and there's even a document. I can say view assignment, and it's going to be organized all in one place. When the student is here for their assignment, they'll be able to see materials that the teacher gave them in the middle, and any work they need to complete will be on the right hand side with their name on it. The students can ask a class comment. This is something that goes to the entire class. That means everyone will see it. The student can also ask a private comment. This means something that just goes to their teacher. The teacher will be able to respond to that comment. From here, the child could click on their work and it will open up their template that they've been given so that they can start working. When the child is done, they also have a couple of more options. Students can add or create right from here. So perhaps the student had a video they wanted to hand in or a link. They would do that here. It would get added to this assignment. Students from here can hit turn in. And now that the teacher is going to get an email saying that, that it is complete. They can return to the main menu of their classroom anytime. Students can also see people in their classroom, who are their classmates, and who are their teachers. Please note the email does not work inside of Google Classroom, and the students will need to continue to use our Outlook email, or of course, they can comment privately to their teacher or in the class stream. If you want to see all of the work in one place that's due, you'll see the upcoming work. You can say view all, and it will show you everything that's due. Some things might not have a specific due date because it was just for practice. Some things may have a specific due date. Any item in here, you can simply click on and it will show you the assignment. They can return anytime to their classroom just by clicking the name at the top. 
One other optional item for parents is to be able to receive an email summary of what's happening in the Google Classroom. Again, this doesn't invite you inside the classroom. Only students and teachers can be inside of the classroom. Parents can get an email summary that will basically give them an email reminder about what's upcoming work, missing work, or any announcements. You simply need to provide the teacher with your email that you would like to use. There can also be multiple email addresses assigned to one student if there was co-parenting. What you'll have to do is as soon as you sign up for that, you will need to go to that email and accept that you want those email summaries. Then you will be able to select how often you would like the email summaries. Let me show you what this looks like. Here you can see that I have an email saying that I was invited as a guardian to Google Classroom for my child, Christine. I would need to hit accept. Once I hit accept, it's going to pop open a window saying, how often would you like these email summaries? So I can choose if I want them weekly, daily, or I can even turn off those summaries so I don't receive them at all. The summary is just going to give you some of the information about what's happening in the classroom. Your summary might look something like this. It'll talk about the student work, anything that's missing, anything that's due, and class activities. It's just a viewable item from each of the different Google Classrooms that that child is associated with. We hope this has been a helpful overview. If you have any questions, just make sure to contact your child's teacher. Have a great day, everybody.